I'm sure that this question has some sort of intuitive kind of conceptual way to solve it where you, you understand enough about this circle that you're just like, ah, it's gotta be whatever. But I would never think about that, right? I mean, it's question 20, even the, the first module, that's a hard question, there's traps. So my conceptual thinking about something is not to be trusted, right? So I can have a hunch, but I wanna back that hunch up with some actual visual proof of my reasoning. So that's easy to do because we have Desmos. So in this case, we have the circle, we are asked which uh, point, could, like basically which X value is possible for a point. So I already put the equation in there. You can see it's kind of off screen. So let's kind of move around and zoom out and get the whole thing. So that's my equation. You should make sure that you entered it right, but that, that's it. Now, when they ask, like, what is a possible value for A, remember, they're asking for a possible value of X. So you can even just, like, think of it like, okay, let me just say what happens if X is equal to negative 16. So literally just put that in, right? So X is equal to negative 16. And you can see we get a vertical line. But that vertical line does not intersect our circle anywhere, right? It just misses it, it's just outside. So what that means is that there is no value on the outside of the circle where X is negative 16, because it's not, it doesn't extend that far out, right? So A is wrong. But if we go to a negative 14, I think we're gonna hit it, because sure enough, we've moved a little bit further to the right, and now we have two points where we have an A and a B, right? So in this case, the A is the negative 14, as we've just said, and B could be two things. It could be 23.583, or it could be 14.417, but I don't care about that. That's not what they were asking for, and I don't care that it's a messy number. Basically, all that matters is that there are two points on this circle where the X coordinate is negative 14, where the A of the point on the circle could be negative 14. So that's the answer, but just to show you, if we go to 11, um, that is going to be, I don't even know where, right? Where we lose it. Okay, that's to the right. So too far away. And obviously then if we make it even further away at 19, we, we it doesn't hit, right? So you don't need to try C and D at that point, but I, maybe it helps you kind of confirm that what you're thinking about here makes sense, right? Because then you're like, okay, well, only one of these lines hit it. And so that's got to be it, right? Um, but notice th they could have asked for like the Y and I think if we did y equals 19, yeah, then it's a different story, right? So this is why it's important to read the question correctly. Uh, they wanted the x, that's very clear based on how they set this thing up. So this is, a, this is supposed to be a hard question, and, and in a way it is, right? Because I'm sure that if you look up the explanation for this on the College Board website, it's probably a mess. I guarantee you it has nothing to do with Desmos. But Desmos is like the only way to do this, in my opinion, right? Like it literally is just visually like, okay, a line intersects a circle twice, like that's it, done. So um, again, get comfortable with Desmos and you will have a lot easier of a time on some hard questions. It doesn't work for everything, but it makes some things really, really simple.